Impact Driven Entrepreneur, episode number 69. Today, we're going to be talking about the three things to have in place before leaving your nine to five job. Let's do it. Welcome to the Impact Driven Entrepreneur, the podcast that helps you expand your reach and convert that reach into clients so you can lead your tribe with confidence and create change in the world while living the life you desire. And now your host, certified business coach and consultant, Mariana Ruiz. Welcome back to the Impact Driven Entrepreneur. Today, I wanted to share with you um, the three things that are going to help you to be able to leave your nine to five job with your coaching business. This is specifically around, um, you know, specifically tailored more towards coaches, but can benefit any business, I think. Um, But you'll see what I mean when we get into it. Okay, so if you don't know me already, since I am actually recording and playing around with recording this on Instagram TV as well, so go ahead and follow us on Instagram if you're listening from the podcast, um, and you can get all of the updates and everything that we're up to. Um, So if you don't know me already, my name is Mariana. I help business owners who are coaches and consultants to scale up their business using group coaching programs so that you can create more freedom, more flexibility, and continue to serve more and more people and make a bigger difference in the world. And I call it a bigger impact. Hence the name Impact Driven Entrepreneur. So today we're going to be talking about how to really, what are the things that we need to have in place in order to feel really, really comfortable and confident leaving your nine to five job. And I think, you know, we have to be smart, um, especially if we have families and we have other obligations and things that we are responsible for. And these are things, you know, if you know my story at all, I left my nine to five job back when my daughter was, you know, sick and not able to, and I had to like, just go all into the business. And so, you know, these are some of the things that if I was to go back, I would tell my lovely self, this is what needs to happen and not even go back because I don't think I could go back and fix that. But this is my best advice, right? For the situation. Number one, I want you to make sure you have some sort of income generating uh, revenue stream. Okay. At least one solid revenue stream generating stream. So if you're a coach, that's either going to be one-on-one coaching or a group or both. Um, And the reason for this is because when you have that and it's making money for you consistently, and it doesn't have to be like the most consistent thing ever, right? But I do want it to be generating income for you because once you have that, you know what it is you're selling, who you're selling it to, Um, and you have a model that is providing recurring revenue for you. These are critical components for the foundation of your business. And if you don't have this, number one, good news is my program, the impact formula helps you to do that. So if you need support with that, reach out to myself, DM me, um, private message me on Facebook, whatever platform you're on. If I'm on it, just message me and we can get on a call so that we can map this out for you. It's a free consultation and I will offer you additional support inside the group, but you know, we need to have these things in place in order for you to confidently and comfortably leave your nine to five job. The second thing that I would have is some sort of support. And the reason for this is because the emotional roller coaster, the emotional pieces of leaving your nine to five job, of building your business, of going to the next level, about the next level of visibility, the next strategy, what's working now, all of these things, there's an emotional as well as a learning piece that needs to happen. And if you don't have support and you're trying to DIY it, you're trying to do it on your own, you're not going to get there. I hate to be so negative, right? Or if you do get there, it's going to be so slow. And so it's really like working backwards because the industry is changing so quickly. So what I would recommend is that you have some sort of support, whether that be a coach, whether it be a mastermind, whether it be a group coaching program, something where you have additional support with somebody that is updating things about what's working now because the industry changes so quickly 
as well as you want a place where you can literally just post a message and say, I am having a rough day. I need a pick me up. And you, you want a community like that for you so that you can move through and beyond that and not have that be an issue um, as you progress and grow your business. And the last thing that I wanted to cover is you want to make sure that you keep the structure and routine and what I call the masculine energy, right, within your uh, schedule and your routine and what you're doing. So too many times I have clients who leave a nine to five job or leave a job and it feels like and looks like and seems like they're going to have all this additional time. But then because there was no intentionality, there was no planning of the day to day, uh, there was not the systems in place, right? They kind of are like swirling all day in their head. And then the, the, the things that need to happen are not happening. And so what I want you to do is make sure you set up the structure, the routines, the, the daily management of your schedule and what needs to be done to move the business forward so that every second that you then have now that you've left your nine to five job or every second, if, if you haven't done that before you left your nine to five job, that needs to be happening before, right? Because that's the skill that's going to allow you to leave, right? When the production, like the three hours you had to work on your business were so productive that it generated enough revenue for you to be able to leave or generated great revenue or something consistent that you felt like you could go with, right? That you could scale up if you had more time. That is necessary. It is not optional. And so that I think is, is the big takeaway there, right? Is being very intentional and running your business like a true business, right? If you were to just like slop into a job and expect to be paid, it's not going to be the same, right? And so I call that the masculine energy. So I'm really into woo. And I call that the masculine energy because it is the breadwinner energy. It is the, I am going to go do this. This is what I'm going to do. And then you actually executing on it and getting it done. And that planning and execution, that is the piece that I, I want you to keep. So I'm going to recap the three main elements that will help you to uh, be able to leave your nine to five job for good, right? We're not talking about a temporary fix or anything like that. We're talking about for good. And number one is having a consistent revenue stream, at least one, uh, something that is predictable, that you know what to do to get clients that you um, have a recurring revenue stream and that you know all of those pieces. And number two, and by the way, you don't have to be at your goal uh, incomes yet, right? Like we can grow with that because like I said, if you know how to do it and you just need more hours in to make that happen, to get the return back, then you're fine, right? Once you leave the job, you can just put those hours in intentionally and following number three and then get that back, right? Number two is really having some sort of support group for the emotional piece, for the keeping up with like what is happening, the trends, what's happening on social media, what's changing, what is um, the thing that is working now so that you are up to date, current and able to get the leading edge and the cutting edge of everything that's happening. And number three is to structure a routine, have something that is going to allow you to have the structure and get that ROI on every minute that you're spending in your business. And again, that is a habit that you can build before you even leave your nine to five job. So if you're looking at, I want to leave my nine to five job in the next three, six months, whatever, this, these are the components that you're going to have to get in place in order to make that happen. So that is what I have for you today. Um, for more information on coaching with me, uh, go to uh, impactdrivenentrepreneur.com slash strategy and you can schedule a, a strategy session with me or again pm me on any of the social medias i am on linkedin instagram and facebook very active there so go ahead and schedule your complimentary strategy session and we can map out what your consistent revenue stream looks like in your business have an amazing day
head on over to impactdrivenentrepreneur.com where you can find an arsenal of videos, blog posts, and previous podcast episodes to help you increase your profit and impact. Again, impactdrivenentrepreneur.com and click on blog. Enjoy. Enjoy.